Chaos. 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 Capital Chaos. Capital Chaos TV. Motherfucker. <laughs> This is John Rexius with Capital Chaos TV with Steve Asheem from Deicide. How you doing tonight, Steve? Doing good, John. Thanks for coming down. Good to see you, man. Good to see you too, brother. Uh, so uh, tell us a little bit about what's been happening on this tour and uh, uh, how things are going, uh, what your expectations are for the rest of the tour. Uh, well, we've been on the road about three weeks, and um, uh, the tour's been great. The turnouts have been great. We actually did 14 shows in a row. Uh, so we're hitting every Sunday and Monday and Tuesday, every bump in the road, and they've been turning out great for, for the weeknights. And then, of course, the weekend dates have been killer. Uh, got about a week or, uh, you know, eight or eight or so shows left on the tour, running through California right now. And, uh, you know, tour's been killer. Everyone sounds great. The package is great. And my expectations are that it's going to be great <laughs> for the <laughs> for the rest of the run. So, yeah, man, I'm looking forward to finishing it. It's been great so far. Nice, nice. Uh, what do you guys have planned next after this tour? Uh, well, we we're, we're have a, a uh, tour of Europe scheduled for December. Uh, you know, we're still working out the logistics, uh, which is always a thing, you know, so just uh, keep you posted on that one there. Uh, but hopefully we make that one happen. Other than that, you know, uh, we got picked up for another record, so we're going to start working on some new stuff, which we got a couple songs kind of framed out already, so, yeah, you know, uh, we're going to be busy again all through next year, next couple years, looks like. They're going to get a record and some more shows, seem like they're uh, going to happen, so looking forward to all that. Nice, nice. Uh, so, Steve, for people who aren't that familiar with Deicide, uh, could you tell us a little bit about kind of where you got your start and uh, about you on a personal level and, and uh, maybe some of your influences in your drumming? Uh, well, you know, I started young in metal. I got hooked on it pretty young, 11, 12 years old. Uh, started with early um, Priest and Maiden. That kind of got me into Sabbath. You know, it kind of went backward from there. And uh, also into when Metallica and Thrash first started up. And uh, um, man, just what a great, just what a great life metal is, you know what I mean? When uh, you really get attached to something like music like that, and then can further get it, like as a drummer, get attached to it, and uh, you know, see what you want to become and then do that. Uh, you know, personally, that's a, it's been an amazing thing to watch happen from the inside. Um, and even tonight, playing in San Francisco, the place is packed out there. It's just another uh, realization of what's possible when you uh, set your mind to it and uh, you practice a lot also. <laughs> you know, <laughs> And uh, writing songs doesn't hurt, so you got to kind of learn a lot. But uh, if you can get it all down and, and, uh, and make it work for you, man, it's, it's quite a thing. It's amazing to see it happen. It's amazing it's still going. <laughs> like no one's more amazed than me. <laughs> right on, brother. Uh, being one of the grandfathers of the Florida death metal scene, uh, on a personal level, what do you think uh, about the state of uh, the metal scene these days? Uh, your impressions about how it's gone from uh, especially Deicide's influence? Uh, well, you know, um, it's good to see that it's still going. Uh, you know, it, it, it's weird when you uh, hear kids talk about the band, how they, we listened to you in high school, and it's like you hear that for years about how kids are listening to us in high school, so it's like we've been an everlasting presence in high schools for 20 years now. So as we become multi-generational, it's like we have 50-year-old fans, and then we still have like 15-year-old fans that roll up, so it's like the thing that when I was a kid, Black Sabbath was, it's like that's what kind of we become, not in a selling sense, but in a how people think about your band since. Um, I don't know, it's just a, a, a wild thing to have happen. You know? Any uh, bands come out in the last couple of years that you think are uh, up there to be uh, long lasting presences in the metal scene on par with like the greats of like you and Morbid Angel? 
Uh, well, you know, I know the guys from um, Municipal Waste uh, hit it pretty hard, and they seem like solid guys. They're not going anywhere. And they've already been around 10 years, but, I mean, they have a shelf life. They're going to be around a long time. Uh, and also some of the newer metal bands that we toured with recently. All, you know, it's a, it's a strong crop of metal bands coming up. You know, I think a lot of these guys are going to be around for a while, you know. Especially the bands that we've gotten to know touring with. You know, I've got a lot of good things to say about them. These kids eat, breathe, and shit metal just like we do, you know. So they're all in it for the long haul, man. They are going to be around for a while, you know. It's good to be good to have them around, you know. The bigger and the uh, uh, richer the scene is, you know, the more reach there is for everyone. Uh, well, you know, non DSI related, just so people can uh, maybe get a few laughs and get to know you on a better level. Got any dirty jokes for us? Any uh, any cool tour stories that you want to share with the fans? Uh, well, yeah, sure. There's always something. Um, Let's see. Um, man. Well, we, we nailed the deer uh, coming up. That was a good one. <laughs> right before the first show. Bam. <laughs> Destroyed the thing. The deer and the van. <laughs> but, man, it's not going to stop us. Right? We pulled over. It's like it took out the whole grill, both headlights. It was at night, right? Couldn't drive. We pulled over, waited till sunrise, got to the first gig, traded the van out. Nothing stopping us, man. Bambi or Thumper or the fucking <laughs> whatever else is running around out there. Sasquatch rolling through Canada. <laughs> we'll hit it and strap it to the hood and we'll be a C at the show. Hey, this is Chuck Billy from Testament. I'm blowing it up. I'm blowing it up. I'm blowing it up. On Capital Chaos. Capital Chaos. In Capital Chaos. Capital Chaos. In Capital Chaos. Capital Chaos. On Capital Chaos. Capital Chaos. Capital Chaos TV. Motherfucker. Go fuck your mother.